Hello everyone, and welcome to Train Talk. Today, we will be taking a look at another popular passenger locomotive that is used in commuter service all over North America. That's right, we are finally going to be looking at the Motive Power Inc. MP36 locomotive, along with the others that are part of the MP Express locomotive series. As always, we will begin by taking a look at the locomotive itself, followed by a discussion of its history, before finishing off with a glimpse into the future at what lies ahead for these tried and true commuter hauling machines. Let's dive right in. The MP Express is a series of streamlined passenger diesel locomotives built by Motive Power Incorporated in Boise, Idaho. MPI, as it is known for short, is part of the Westinghouse Air Brake Technology Corporation, also known as Wabtec. Over a period of nearly 20 years, more than 220 MP Express locomotives have been built for commuter railroads all over the United States and Canada. Four different locomotive models have been built as part of the MP Express series. They are the MP36 PH-3S, MP36 PH-3C, MP40 PH-3C, and the MP54AC. In addition to these four locomotive offerings, Motive Power has also rebuilt several GP40 locomotives into a model dubbed the MP32 PH-Q. We will begin with the MP36. The MP36 is a 3600 horsepower, four axle diesel electric locomotive built for passenger use. They sit at 68 feet in length with a height of over 15 feet 6 inches. Top speed for the locomotives is rated at over 100 miles per hour. While the locomotive is of an all-original design, many of the components on the unit, including the prime mover, traction motors, and even the locomotive trucks, are built by Electromotive Diesel, or EMD for short. This is also the case with the other locomotives in the MP Express family. There are two different versions of the MP36. The MP36 PH-3C is the most common model with over 100 locomotives built since 2003. This version features a separate diesel generator that is used for providing electricity for the passenger cars, referred to as head-end power, or HEP. The other version is the MP36 PH-3S. Only 27 of these locomotives were built, all going to Chicago's Metra commuter service. Instead of having a separate head-end power diesel generator on board, the MP36 PH-3S uses a direct drive system that draws power right off the locomotive's prime mover. The net effect of this is that the locomotive must idle at a higher RPM while sitting in stations in order to keep the HEP system running. When it was initially designed in the early 2000s, it was the first diesel passenger locomotive in the United States to meet the Environmental Protection Agency's Tier 2 diesel engine emissions standards. Subsequent locomotives in the MP family have also met Tier 3 standards and in one case Tier 4 standards. Before we go any further, let's take a look at the MPI designations for these locomotives. If you are familiar with some of my previous episodes of Train Talk where I have taken a look at General Electric and EMD locomotive model numbers, you may notice that the Motive Power System is a combination of the two naming systems. MPI uses the general format of EMD model designations, but instead of using an actual model number like EMD locomotives, MPI opted to go with a two-digit number indicating the locomotive horsepower in the hundreds, like General Electric does. So, for the MP36, MP is short for Motive Power, equivalent to a model series, 36 indicates 3600 horsepower, P denotes passenger gearing, and H is for head-in power equipped. The 3 means that these locomotives are equipped with the EMD-3 electronics system. In the units that are equipped with a separate diesel generator for the HEP system, the C stands for the Caterpillar built diesel generator. On the Dash 3S models, the S is used to denote that the locomotive has a static inverter driven system for the head-in power that runs off the locomotive's prime mover. The MP40 PH-3C is very similar in design to the MP36. The main difference is that these locomotives have a 16-cylinder EMD 710 prime mover rather than the 16-cylinder 645 block that is used in the MP36. This resulted in raising the locomotive horsepower output from 3600 to 4000, indicated by the 40 in the model designation. Some of these units are EPA Tier 2 compliant, while newer built locomotives also comply with the Tier 3 standards. The last of the new built MP locomotives is the 5400 horsepower MP54AC, 
the most powerful diesel passenger locomotive in North America. The MP54s differ more from the MP36 and the MP40 because they use AC power traction motors. Additionally, instead of having a single EMD engine block for the prime mover, they use two Cummins-built 16-cylinder QSK60 engines, making the MP54 the only Tier 4 compliant locomotive in the series. In addition to the four new-built models, Motive Power also remanufactured GP40 locomotives into a model called the MP32PH-Q. These locomotives share a lot with the MP36, except that they still retain their open-air freight locomotive-style walkways along each side of the engine rather than having a full-width body. The old locomotive cabs were replaced with the standard Motive Power streamlined cab design, giving the MP32 an incredibly unique appearance. We will now look at the history of the MP Express locomotives, but first, let's go back a little bit and take a brief look at the history of the company Motive Power Inc. and its predecessor, Morrison Knudsen. Tracing its origins back to the first half of the 1900s, Morrison Knudsen was an American construction and design company based out of Boise, Idaho. They contributed to many well known construction projects, including the Hoover Dam. In later years, Morrison Knudsen branched out into other areas including railroad equipment. A separate division of the company was established that would come to be known as MK Rail. They started off by rebuilding old locomotives and eventually moved into designing and constructing brand new rail equipment, including the first batch of Amtrak California bi-level passenger cars. MK Rail got its first experience with building new commuter locomotives from the ground up when it used the popular F40PH locomotive design from General Motors Electromotive Division, or EMD, to build the commuter version of the locomotive known as the F40PHM-2C. Prior to this, the company had also remanufactured some freight locomotives for use in commuter service. The F40PHM-2C used components built by EMD, such as Blomberg trucks and a 16-cylinder 645 engine block, but on a brand new frame. In the 1990s, due to financial trouble, Morrison Knudsen spun off their rail division. The company continued to work out of its plant in Boise, Idaho. Within a few years, MK Rail was renamed as Motive Power Incorporated and shortly thereafter merged with the Westinghouse Air Brake Company, also known as Wabco. The new company would be called Wabtech or Westinghouse Air Brake Technologies Corporation, and Motive Power Inc. became a subsidiary of Wabtech. Looking to get back into the passenger rail market, Motive Power began to design a brand new series of passenger diesel electric locomotives for commuter use. What resulted was the 3,600 horsepower MP36PH, the first and by far the most popular in the MP Express series. These locomotives were influenced by the company's experience with building F40PHM-2C commuter locomotives using many of the same EMD-built components, including the EMD 16-cylinder 645 engine block and Blomberg trucks. The frame and body were a brand new design featuring a streamlined nose and a four-window cab. Chicago's Metro was the first customer for the MP36. Since their fleet at the time consisted of mostly traditional F40PH locomotives, Metro wanted a similar system for head-end power for their new locomotives that would run directly off the locomotive's prime mover rather than having a separate onboard diesel generator to power the HEP system. The first MP36PH-3S locomotive rolled out of the Boise plant in early 2003. Metro would come to own a total of 27 of these locomotives, which were the only Dash 3S versions built. In later overhaul programs, they were modified to have a separate HEP generator, as the power inverter system proved to be unreliable. Following the 27 locomotive order from Metra, Caltrain in the San Francisco Bay Area placed an order for six new locomotives. These would essentially be the same as the MP36PH-3S locomotives that were built for Metra, but, as built, would have a separate onboard diesel generator for head-end power built by Caterpillar. The resulting locomotive would be the MP36PH-3C, the most popular and best-selling of the locomotives in the MP Express series. Caltrain received their six locomotives in 2003 for a new express commuter service between San Francisco and San Jose, California. A total of nine different North American commuter railroads purchased MP36PH-3C locomotives between 2003 and 2012, including Metrolink, Frontrunner, North Star, and Virginia Railway Express. The next model in the MP Express family came in the mid-2000s with the introduction of the MP40PH-3C. 
Go Transit in Toronto, Ontario was looking for new passenger power to replace many of their F-59 PH locomotives. The commuter agency needed higher horsepower locomotives that could handle longer commuter trains unassisted. Motive Power responded by upgrading the MP36 model from an EMD 645 prime mover to an EMD 710. This brought the total horsepower for the locomotive up to 4,000 from the previous rating of 3,600. The first MP40 locomotives began arriving in 2007. Other than GO, only one commuter agency purchased the MP40 model. In 2012, Sound Transit in Washington State received three MP40 locomotives to supplement their F-59 PHI fleet. In 2013, GO Transit sent one of its MP40 locomotives back to Motive Power to be repowered and converted into what would become the first MP54 AC locomotive. The completed locomotive returned in 2015. At first, the agency looked at the possibility of converting more of their MP40 locomotives into MP54s, but later it was decided to have brand new locomotives built. 16 MP54 locomotives were constructed and delivered between 2017 and 2018. In sunny Orlando, Florida, a new startup commuter service known as Sunrail took delivery of 11 MP32 PH-Q locomotives between 2013 and 2017. Sunrail opted to go with less expensive remanufactured locomotives rather than brand new units. The MP32 locomotives started off life as GP40 freight locomotives in the late 1960s and early 1970s. They were later rebuilt into GP40 WH-2 units for the Maryland Area Regional Commuter Rail by Morrison Knudsen. The MP Express has proven itself to be a useful series of modern commuter locomotives. Many of these units have been in service for well over a decade. So, what does the future hold in store for the MP Express? In 2015, the Environmental Protection Agency's new Tier 4 emissions standards came into effect. This meant that Motive Power could no longer construct brand new MP36 and MP40 locomotives under their current design. Right now, it is not certain that the MP36 and the MP40 models will be modified to make them Tier 4 compliant. Motive Power already offers a Tier 4 compliant locomotive in the form of the MP54. However, since the Tier 4 standards only apply to newly built locomotives, it is very possible that Motive Power will continue to remanufacture old commuter locomotives or even freight locomotives into some new model similar to what was done with the MP32. As for the fleets of actively operating MP Express locomotives, none of these units have yet reached 20 years in age as of 2020, and many are only 10 if not less. This means that they still have a fair amount of service life left in them, although it is highly likely that the vast majority of these units will go through midlife overhauls over the next several years. In some cases, this has already happened, as with Metra overhauling and converting all of their MP36 locomotives from 3S to 3C units. At the end of the day, the MP36 and its MP Express relatives have proven to be a success story for Wabtec and Motive Power Inc. For nearly two decades, they dominated the passenger power market for commuter locomotives. And while we may not see any new MP36 or MP40 locomotives built in the coming years, Motive Power Inc. will in all likelihood continue to build and remanufacture locomotives for commuter railroads. Whatever may be ahead for the MP Express, these locomotives will continue to haul commuters to and from work all over North America for the next several decades. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Train Talk. If you'd like to see more episodes of Train Talk about specific locomotives, please let me know in the comments below. For newcomers to the channel, you are always welcome to subscribe and ring the notification bell to receive updates about my latest video uploads and posts to the community tab of the channel page. If you'd like to see even more great train and railroad content, take a look at my other social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, and Flickr. Finally, you can always stop by every Friday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific Time for a brand new railroading adventure right here on the YouTube channel. That's it for now. Until next time, I'm Mike Armstrong. I'll see you down the line. Thanks for watching.